This is Lindsay Cruz's property. I'm in the backyard. So starting off in this side right here, we're gonna be doing a cleanup that includes removing the leaves and debris, pruning all the shrubs. Um, there's some volunteers popping through. We're gonna remove those. We're gonna remove a few plants. I'll point them out as I'm walking through. So um, starting, so everywhere we're gonna be blowing out leaves. So I just won't talk about that anymore. And then uh, starting from here, the azalea, we're gonna just trim this up to kind of even it out a little bit. Um, volunteers like this, we're gonna pull out. There's another one there. Um, this hawthorn, we're gonna dig it out. They want, they're gonna put something else in here. Um, so there's a lot of like star jasmine ground cover. So in this case, uh, we're just gonna prune the top of it nicely. They don't mind it growing on the fence here. We'll just prune away from the hose reel right here. And then we'll need to use a, like a strain trimmer to create a nice divider between the ground cover and the lawn. So, so there's a nice line. So a lot of volunteers like this coming through. So make sure that we um, go down to the ground where they are and we'll use a sawzall to cut them down as low as possible shaping these plants more volunteers right here uh, actually behind this bush right here there's a lot of volunteers we're gonna cut all the all of those down uh, the manzanitas here need to be smoothened up just shape the top of them and then on the bottom also clean them up clean up the sides these flowers are good we're just gonna use an edger to make a line and that's it so the client asks us to remove the agapanthas so all of these right here, I'll point them out. We're removing those agapanthas right there. Um, trimming all of this. Uh, there's more, uh, I don't know if the video is showing it, but there's more volunteers like this that we need to remove. Um, there's a glass uh, table here. We're gonna move it out of the way so we don't break it. And then the um, lantanas, we're gonna trim these lantanas as low as we can uh, so they can grow back fresh. This right here, uh, this tree we're gonna leave, that's not a volunteer. Uh, there's more agapanthas back there, so there they are. And then this agapantha here, we're gonna dig, the, dig that out. Um, all of this ground cover, we're just gonna shape it up and then you know cut it back here to the edge line. Um, there's not much to do back there. Just blow out leaves and uh, prune some of these back a little bit. Let me walk over there, take a look at it. So we didn't talk about this plant, but that does not look like a volunteer. So I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna leave it. Uh, when we're doing the walkthrough with the client, we'll double check about this one, see if they want us to leave it. This uh, this um, Photinia looks good. It's kind of provide, providing a hedge over here. So that doesn't need to get pruned or anything. Um, right here, this plant, there is a crepe myrtle in here and there's a volunteer. So we want to leave the crepe myrtle, but remove the volunteer. So this right here is the volunteer going all the way down and then next to it right there this is the crepe myrtle so uh, the best way to distinguish is by looking at the leaves so we got the leaves of the crepe myrtle then the volunteer has these big leaves okay um, all these ferns here are good um, just kind of trim the line right here continue that line um, walking over here there's a rose vine growing onto the street. We're not doing anything with this rose vine except just whatever's sticking out here, we're gonna prune back. And that's gonna be stuff like this, we're gonna prune back. But all that stuff going in the tree, we're gonna leave it alone. Uh, this hawthorn is looking a little tired, so we're gonna just prune it back a little bit. And then behind there's leaves, we're gonna stand where the fence is right there and then blow all those leaves out to hopefully tidy everything up. So same thing with this uh, ground cover. We wanna put a nice, edge between the ground cover and the lawn so it looks neat um, this camellia here actually looks pretty good we just want to shape the face of it a little bit kind of round it off the height looks good um, so starting from here this i want to point out this ground cover because go, it goes all the way around the property and we want to just trim the top of it trim the sides and anywhere that it's going up on the fence we want to use the hedge trimmer to trim as close as we can to the fence so it's not growing there anymore um, there are some so these look like roses but i'm pretty sure they're volunteers they look very sad we want to cut them off all the way at the base we don't want to leave this uh, shape up this hawthorn uh, we're going to trim this ground cover 
there's some more roses here that are popping through we're just going to trim them along with the ground cover um, this right here is a volunteer we're going to cut this all the way down um, there's a few more volunteers popping through like this right here this you'll be able to distinguish them from the ground cover they look different there's leaves in here that are being blown out so the client is taking care of the lawn themselves we're just gonna um make sure to blow out all of these leaves you want this patio this area to look really nice and neat this planter bed we want it to look nice and neat uh look for volunteers also that are sprouting there's more right here there's a lot of volunteers so we need to go through and just make sure to snip all of those off there's more ground cover here see how it's coming over the retaining wall edge we want to cut that back all this right here is all volunteers and then uh looking out to this pond area um we want to um do our best so we might need to by hand pick up as much as we can of this debris and then with a blower just blow everything in that direction so we can rake it up so blow out all of the branches all of the leaves or the pine needles and then behind it there we're gonna need to go back there there's some volunteers as well this rosemary definitely needs to be shaped up it's, it's growing way too big so we want to get it um, as small as we can without removing all of the green growth so more ground cover here that goes all the way down to that area so shape up this uh breath of heaven there's another volunteer growing this is a volunteer right here there's a bunch of volunteers just looking at it there's one two three and then there's a great myrtle no that's a so this is a volunteer but it could be used as a tree so we'll check with the client don't don't cut this one down anything that looks like this check with the client first so this is the area where the this vine is starting to grow onto the fence and we want to just come in with the hedge trimmer and then go to the fence and then cut it off so it's flush to, to the fence this tea tree tea tree uh bush go ahead and shape it. it it takes a tight shaping very well so shape this it'll it'll come back really nice uh things like this just keep an eye on it and uh, we're gonna definitely blow everything to clear the hardscapes and uh, blow the um, mulch back into the planter beds hawthorn needs to be shaped um, majority of the pruning here is going to be the ground cover uh, this is where it ends another volunteer right here that right there is a volunteer if i point that way uh, and then here it's all pretty much under control we don't need to do anything in this area there's fruit trees vegetable gardens another volunteer right there some weeds growing through here that we want to tidy up and uh, that's it so quite a bit of pruning a lot of volunteers to remove um, but yeah beautiful yard look forward to seeing it all done